White about virtual reality gaming. It's going to be the future for sure. I've had an opportunity to try it out. But right now we have a lot of amazing players that are taking the stage. Look at them go. Okay. Uh, try to battles. Oh, it's going to be pretty interesting right here. Uh -huh. Actually, um, wait, did, did the buzz get picked up again? Oh, yeah. He's by, uh, picked up by Renegades. And there's an NBA player that's uh, involved also in the Renegades. I think he owns it or... Something, something to that nature. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, got picked up. Quick. Yes, we got Renegade the Buzz here versus CLG Nakat, who was on stage against Shogun, but now he's gonna have a battle against somebody who will not allow him to use his nets. The Buzz is Rosalina. Yeah, and uh, that's actually smart for him not to even uh, attempt to go for the nets. Uh, you saw what happened the last few times. You've seen the nets versus Rosalina. They get pushed off shades one time, and as soon as their forces up B, well, they might as well not even use it because it's gone. Ooh, and right there, it looked like the Buzz was definitely trying to react to a full jump dare approach with the preemptive up air, but didn't quite work out for him. And you know the Buzz already, man. We're talking about this player, definitely ranked number one in Tri-State, but and number three in Panda Global. This guy, whenever it comes to these really big events, and he's no stranger to getting second place or just even top four, right? He's always going to be in top eight for sure. Oh, jabbing him up right there, though. Get some nice gentlemen right here. Uh, now, pretty even game so far. Um, where I think there's going to be a little bit of a takeoff is, uh, always point this out, how how well is the opponent uh, doing at getting rid of Ruma? That's yeah. a huge, that, that, that significantly uh, takes away a lot of Rose's options, a lot, a lot of Rose's kill power. So it, like when you get a chance like this, you should be trying to go ham. You know, you're trying to get in there, make something happen for yourself. Don't get reckless, but at least try to make something happen for yourself. But the buzz, we've all known the buzz to be a man who is really good at playing uh, with his back to the wall. Wow! Wow, and the cat getting caught off guard right there with the down after the jump from the edge. The Luma taking stop. away that stop. But he was doing pretty good, right? Because that side being the first stock did take away Luma. He, he tried to apply some pressure with the lasers, and the moment he went for a fair, he kind of got hit by the buzz. Lost all his stage control, leading to him losing that stock while trying to maintain his pressure. At the I'm surprised he just didn't go for the uh, oh. match right there on that oh. ledge. But yeah, no. It, it, the, the Luma came back just in time. For, uh, oh. oh, wow. That's, that's, that's not what you want to see. Yeah. Definitely not. I mean, I'd like to see, see some good, clean play. Yeah, man. That, that was that was uh, that was not good, clean play right there. That was bad, dirty play. <laughs> Definitely a flub right there. An unexpected one, too, from a player like the Buzz. But it happens to the best of us. Being a fast faller like Fox can lead to you getting damaged so hard. And right now, the cat in a tough spot, 74%. Knowing that, but Rosalina doesn't have a hitbox while, you know, rising to the stage. She can definitely be susceptible to those fair spikes. Or, or shine. If, if, if he's feeling bold. <laughs> Man, that move is a classic. <laughs> All right, that was a little wild there. I wonder if he was trying to go for a dash attack instead. Yeah, looking a little flustered right here. Doing, doing decent amount of damage to uh, actually finish uh, Luma in that, in that hurricane kick, but didn't matter. You know, that was smashed just enough for the buzz to take that stock. So good stuff right there to the buzz. Uh, the cat. I mean, probably shouldn't switch, but I feel like he's definitely thinking at least what stage to go to from here. Yo, thank you so much to Spooky Tito coming through, the homie. I'm saying the big house looking to go down as the best match for the tournament yet. Great players, great casters. What more could you want? Hashtag D1 Breezy from Tito SSB. Tito should be here commentating too, man. He's a homie. Three, yeah, homie in the building right here. We got some notice places by the buzz as you can see at the bottom of the screen, but we get to that later. Right into it, game two right here, Battlefield. Uh, this is the Cats counter pick, which every time this gets counter picked, I'm always like, but don't y'all remember how the Buzz play here? Because, right? The Buzz be chilling. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's true, it's true. Watch though, getting yeah. that fourth throw, trying to push the Buzz to the edge. I mean, I, I wonder if the throw could actually hit Luma as well. It didn't quite look like she got sent back. Oh, no dash attacks. Probably waited. There you go. That's check right there this time, though. And uh, the Luma back air. Managed to get through that. Man, that was Falco. He was dead. <laughs> Poor guy. Air dodging on stage. That's yeah, I don't really yeah. know what that option is about. I feel like Fox doesn't even have enough, uh, fast enough air dodge to get away with not landing on the ground like that. At least the way he did it. Okay, well, here's the Cat's opportunity. The bus is going to start playing very defensive. Okay, now. Oh, okay, good catch. Putting him back off stage, too. Positioning himself to get the uh, out. Word, uh, knockback. Getting the Luna landing neutral air right there to work. Oh, okay, yeah, there's that double hit from uh, Luma right there. 
Nice I, field. He's definitely running in trying to uh -huh. do something to it, but I think he knows that attack's going to come out faster than he can get over there. So. Mm -hmm. And he knows that sometimes the buzz will try to make attacks clank yeah. with the Luma. Okay. Fox McCloud, though, being on the stage, I understand. This is one of Fox's best counter picks. Really hard to catch this character being so speedy on this stage. Oh. There it is, that Luma neutral there. Nice delay. Oh. That worked out. Yeah, not too much space in between. The, oh, very nice up smash catching him. You know he wasn't even looking. He yeah. was probably expecting him to go for uh, Luma right there, but it actually just kind of mixes it up. But yeah, the cat, uh, or Rosalina had too much space between where Luma was doing his uh, their jab and where Rosa was spinning, so he managed to get behind him and throw him off stage. Good stuff. Yep. The cat definitely putting some beautiful things together here. Uh, that up smash, the best thing about it was that it catches the drift when you try to land right onto the stage. So very smart move. Right now, he does have the lead. Managed to make it back on stage. He's about to just take that shield damage and moves away. Smart stuff, you know. Probably wasn't going to be able to get the punish that he wanted. So he's like, I'll just get a little space, get some of my shield back. Or something. Up tilt. Uh oh. Yep, good repositioning. Trying to avoid getting. Getting pressured or losing that stock. He wants to get as much of a lead as he can on a player. Just like the buzz. Back, back throw. throw. Still living. Yes. Bottom a lot of time, though. Luma should be coming back uh, pretty soon. Oh, he's trying to shield shake. You saw that, right? D probably trying to see if he can get ready to do an up, up tilt mm -hmm. immediately from shield. There it is. Oh, wow. The, bu uh, the buzz. Going low. Oh, there's a two frame. Wow. Again. That time to get in the trump, but oh, well, can't trump Luma. <laughs> yeah, definitely can't. Man. Luma still Whoa! down. Oh no! Okay, getting back down to the stage right here. Still getting juggled though. The, the cat tried right there to see if he can get something, but that neutral upon landing. Okay, the cat's gonna have to play it slow. He's trying to get us to game three right now. Rolling behind. There's the grab. There's the. Oh, what a chase! Good air dodge. Yeah, man, that fast fall uh, air dodge box probably coming in handy right here because. Rosalina doesn't have really great uh, air air speed like that. Yeah. You know, go uh, vertical at least. Or, okay. Yeah, so. Be careful. This is scary stuff here. Luma, she's definitely hanging. L just, wow. Just lurking. Oh! oh! Yo, we call that the snow. The back air to the immediate F smash. Like, yo, you trying to grab me? I mean, my dog, That was a, there was a slight delay, though. Yeah, yeah he didn't do it immediately. It wasn't yeah, immediate. it you peeped it, right? right. He was like, back, throw, back air? Uh, all right, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> and he just caught him. Good stuff right there. Caught him. Uh, caught him. No, caught him. Caught him reaching. Definitely most likely, did. Most likely probably either came out of shield with the up smash or a grab, and it just did not connect fast enough, thus him losing that stock. So now we're going to see what's going to happen here in this third game. Good stuff to the cat. Even though I kind of, I mean, I kind of, that was the counter pick a little bit, only because I had the buzz play, uh, usually plays on stages with platforms. He still managed to make it work for himself, so good stuff. Yep, and I definitely like the third thing they have right there of uh, Nakat. Counter picker, he definitely, you know, he has a lot of characters under his belt, but let's not forget how adaptive he is as a player, right? True. The buzz, super analytical, though. This guy is so good at just recognizing what's going on and changing the flow of the match. Yeah, man, let's see if you can, uh, if you can go ahead and take this win right here, right now. Yep. And he's but, so good at trapping as well, right? You saw what happened in the second uh, stock, uh -huh. second game. I feel like, oh, you know, man. honestly, I feel like the buzz doesn't even really have a, a, a favorite stage. He actually plays based on how you played on another stage. Ah. So he just lost on a on a stage of platforms, so he takes it to a flat stage. Ah. But had this been the counter pick, and uh, then he lost here, he probably would have taken the battlefield himself. That's smart, man. When you can play on any stage just based off like how you read your opponent. You see what Nakat did? He kind of jumped back, maybe trying to see if he can potentially get something off of a reverse hit of the back down, uh, down there. But um, you saw the buzz get hit back. That's punishable. So, yeah. Yep. Just took whatever he could get from that uh, Luma. Can't get too greedy. Oh, the reverse right there. Oh, he's getting trapped. He, nah, my man is he's getting symphony on right now. He's getting conducted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's happening again. The chase. Whoa! No cat! Let's go right there. Look. Two look. stocks, 80%. CLG the cat. The buzz is definitely over here playing like, like a mage, like a necromancer with the way he was trying to control Luma. And, and the cat came through like a warrior. Woo! You see this? 24%. What is going on here? 
Goes to the trump right there. Safe though. That forced him to jump extra high. Yeah. Take a decent amount of damage right here from this uh, jab though. Definitely don't want to count the buzz out. This guy, he's so good at getting those low percent KOs with the up airs on his opponent, putting them in the air. And his edge guards are so good. All he has to do is Double. just keep getting these edge guards, uh -oh. forcing Fox to recover. I think, Will he, I think he used his jump that time. Yep. Yeah, good shot up to Buzz. All he, had to, all he had to do right there, you know, as long as he kept down to him, he was going to push him far enough away. So eventually he was going to have to up B. And he saw, he saw it and went for it. Yep. And right now the Buzz is making all this back. The Cat trying to see if he can get a partial grab. Well, look at all these up airs. Nice drift away by the Cat. Catman kind of losing a little momentum right here. Uh huh. He was doing well. I mean, we, we were, you know, hyping him up for a little bit, and then after he lost that stock, or uh, after he started taking damage, uh, inevitably losing that stock, he just hasn't really had that momentum. Almost getting hit by that uh, Luma up there. Uh -oh. There it is. Here we go. Again, he's waiting. Luma. Go, go wait. Whoa, I thought he was going to go for a fight. Oh, oh, good try. Okay, he was looking for a lot right there. Yeah, he did. Oh, things might be falling apart. The bus might be coming back. Oh, whoa. He's back, to, back on stage. There's a side B. Duh. Okay, oh. he didn't go for the way. Well, he, I think he had he he might double jump for that. Oh, and he still managed to make it back on stage. Oh, he might not have Buzz. Not doing the right option right there. And Going for an up to him instead of up smash. Intense situation here. He doesn't get the back here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look, there's cheer for the cat. Yeah, the cheer for the cat. Uh-oh. There's a roll. He didn't get it. He's looking. That shield is so smart. At, at the, if he didn't run away oh. right there, I feel like the cat could have just threw out an up smash and actually got it to shield. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh. There's a fourth throw. Oh, oh, oh okay, that was Luma. He got lucky. Luma. He got lucky. This is bad. Yeah, he has he's stuck in an edge guard situation. Yeah, this is not looking good for him. He's gonna just go ahead and grab the ledge right there. The bus is waiting for it to side B again. Okay. Smart stuff from the cat not to air, uh, a side B in again though. The bus oh. lined it up. This could be bad. Oh, oh the cat is God. gone. Good job to Buzz. Stay consistent. What an amazing match between the Buds and the Cat. Man. So the close for the Cat right there. He was trying his hardest. But right when you right when he got into the edge guard situation, you knew it was 90% over right yep, there, man. Yep. If he was not going to be able to grab that ledge the first time, he was going to be in dire straits. That 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 down air just sent, uh, that attack hitbox when Luma is available or, or down tilt. Attack hitbox is just so good for covering that linear recovery from Fox. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, man, when I saw him get that neutral air. And then the buzz got like knocked off. I thought we were gonna see some crazy, like a runoff fair, footstool, and it. And there were times where when he was applying that safe pressure, you'd see the buzz roll, right? And there are times I've seen Larry Lur, whenever he applies the safe pressure, if he reads the roll, he'll get the up smash. The cat didn't quite get the opportunity to well, he didn't capitalize on the opportunity to get that, unfortunately. But all in all, really good stuff. The buzz, solid players. You can see, uh, one of the reasons why he's ranked so high is because of his clutch factor.